When it comes to achieving accurate measurements with a VNA, an appropriate calibration is essential. Typically, calibration kits with high-quality broadband standards are used. However, when operating below 500 MHz, we can create our own standards and still achieve accurate results. Since we plan to use BNC connectors for our experiment, we took three BNC board edge connectors, identical to those we intended to use to connect to our microstrip line, and created our own standards from them. The open is simply a bare connector that requires no modifications. The short is created by connecting the center and outer conductors, which we achieved by soldering a piece of copper tape between them. The 50 ohm standard can be made by soldering two 100 ohm resistors in parallel between the inner and outer conductors. The advantage of creating standards this way is that the calibration plane aligns with the edge of the board directly at the start of the transmission line. This eliminates the need for de-embedding. If you've used VNAs before, you might wonder how this approach works without a calibration file, which is typically provided with professional kits and enables the VNA to correct for any differences between expected and measured values of the standards. Well, at frequencies below 500 MHz, we can use almost any calibration file since most shorts, opens, and matched loads will appear similar, without significantly compromising the accuracy of the calibration. So let's do it! We select a start frequency of 2 MHz and a stop frequency of 500 MHz. To achieve a finer trace, we set our sweep to the maximum number of points, in this case, 2501. This allows us to move the cursor to a specific frequency with precision, rather than being limited to a coarse range where certain values might not be selectable. We then choose a one-port selective span calibration, so we will only calibrate over the selected frequency range. And we leave the CalKit setting to the default one, FSH, Z28. Here is our test port, right at the end of this BNC cable. Now we need to connect our homemade standards to it one by one, as directed by the instrument calibration wizard. We start with an open, then move on to a short, and lastly we connect our 50 ohm load. The instrument is then able to calculate the calibration coefficients and apply them to the S11 measurement. Since our 50 ohm load is still connected, and we are measuring the S11, if the calibration has been successful, we should just see a dot in the center of the chart across the entire frequency range. And that is indeed the case. This calibration is what enabled us to have such accurate results when we carried out our experiments, since the calibration plane was right at the edge of the board.